Hi, I'm Jessica Ellis. And I'm Lynn Lightyear. And we are here to go over a code lab using Here Technologies and AWS. Great. And this is a uh, number two in our series. So in the first one, you might remember that we used an AWS Lambda and just a script to call a Here uh, geocoding API. And as promised, we're building up and we're moving towards more of an enterprise application pattern. So what we're going to be building in this code lab is we're going to use a common client tool, JS Fiddle, to work with JavaScript, but we're going to use API Gateway. And this is a new component in our architecture. Now, what we're also going to use to build this out, you can see the application center here, we've got API Gateway and a couple lambdas, is we're going to use the AWS serverless application repository and cloud formation stacks and templates, which might be new to you. So there's a lot of things you know, to really learn from an application standpoint here. So Lynn, why are there two lambdas with this one? Well, what we're doing as we work with the here APIs is we're exposing more of the functionality. The first one we just did geocoding. You know, yeah. just give me an address and get a geocode. But you can get that almost for free on the web. Here has a whole bunch more capabilities. So we're gonna, in this one we're gonna use point of interest and autocomplete address. And a proper architecture is to separate each one of these calls in a Lambda. That's a microservice. Mm -hmm. So let's jump into the lab. Okay. In this code lab, we are going to walk through the steps so that you can use the geocoder API from the serverless application repository at AWS to use on a website. Great, so this just gives you the steps. Now you see the lab takes 41 minutes. This is gonna be, not gonna be a 41 minute long video. We're gonna go quickly through some of the steps. So you're gonna wanna read this and we'll link to this. Now, if you just click to the next page, the first thing that we're gonna do as a proof of concept is we're gonna use that jQuery tool. And if you scroll down this page, it shows you how to set this up. Now, in order to set this up, you need a little sn couple snippets of code here. So you need this snippet that gives an address and an HTML snippet for the response. And we've gone ahead and we've done that already. So if you go to jQuery, you can see we all we did was copy and paste these over. Um, the other two things that you need is your AWS account open and you need to sign up for a here.com account. The here.com account is free. And when, after you sign up for that account, you are going to generate credentials. And if you go to your here account and you press the JavaScript rest, they will create credentials for you. And I'm going to go ahead and take the app ID and the app code and plug them into the code in the jQuery. After you have entered your app ID and your app code from your here credentials, press run and then press geocode. So this incomplete address has been made a complete address, and that is the autocomplete location. Great, and so what we did here is just basically proof of concept, so we could call directly. So we haven't integrated with Amazon at all. So now let's get into that step. So Jessica, if you wanna go back to the lab, and you can see we've quickly gone through steps two and three. And now we're gonna start working with the serverless application repositories. You can go ahead and show us how that works. Once you've signed into AWS and you've gone to Lambda, the link is in the code lab. I'm gonna press create function and we are gonna use the AWS serverless application repository. And then you wanna search for geocode. Once again, there are places for us to enter our here credentials. This one is a little trickier though because the app ID and the app code are reversed in order, so make sure you put the right one in the right one. Once you've entered your credentials, then deploy. So while that's deploying, let's go back to the diagram. So in the diagram, you can see that what's happening now is the selection from the SAR, the CloudFormation template, which again is a JSON or YAML file that you can edit and check into GitHub or whatever, is creating an instance of the API gateway and two lambdas, and these will include JavaScript. And then we'll be invoking our API gateway endpoint from JS Fiddle to test. So the next thing you're gonna do is press view cloud formation stacks. Let's run back over and do that. And what we're doing is getting from the output the endpoint 
and this is of the API gateway. And so we're going to need this for our code. So Jessica's getting this so she can now work with this in the jQuery. So she's saving this out. And so now she's going to go back to the lab and get the jQuery that she needs so that the uh, editor can make the call. Now let's look at the next step we need to do in the lab. So you can see inside the lab that what we need to do, just for our quick demo, is we need to modify the HTTP response header to make sure we're course compliant. Now this is really not an enterprise pattern. It's just something that it allows us to connect really quickly. So Jessica, if you can go ahead and make that modification in the Lambda code. On line 57, you're just going to uncomment out and then make sure you save that line. And then if you scroll up, Jessica, you can see that here in the AWS Lambda section, you can see how these two Lambdas have been created. It's just one of them. And then how it's integrated with the API Gateway and CloudWatch. So it's basically the drawing has come to life. Now, of course, software is only good if it works. So I'm going to let you take it through the testing phases. Here's the next piece of code that we need to cut and paste. Just replace what we used before. And this is where we're going to use, right here, you can see that we need to point to the here geocode API. And we are going to use what we saved before to do that. most important part of this step is you can see that it says uh, geocode forward slash and we need to make sure we replace everything else except that. So we've entered a unique API endpoint. Let's go ahead and run it. And then we are going to choose a point of interest or word. I'm just going to choose strand. That's what's used in our code lab. And it returns all the different points of interest that include strand. So the great thing here is we have working code. It's working exactly as we um, want it to. When you're done with this demo, I recommend to clean up your AWS. And let's just go ahead and delete this. So press actions and delete stack. Great. And what that does is as a transactional unit, that cleans up all of your demos. So what we built in this lab was a, an example of calling Hero Technologies Geocoder API for two different pieces of functionality, point of interest and autocomplete, using Lambda Serverless API Gateway and the Serverless Application Repository and Cloud Formation. So we hope you enjoyed it. We love coding, and we're going to do more of these. This is we'll do more code labs. Yeah. So I am Lynn Langett and Jessica Ellis. Thanks for watching. Thank you.